Yo, what's up guys, Ryan McGinn here. Welcome to another awesome video. And this is actually my first video of 2015. I know maybe I'm slacking a little bit. I believe it's January 6th today. So sorry about that. But this is a very important video because being that this is the first week of 2015, you need to be planning out your year in advance and setting yourself up for success. Now, there are three areas of life where you should be striving, setting goals, and constantly making huge improvements in your life. And those are health, wealth, and your finances. Okay, now health being whatever your goal is. Now, I like to always reevaluate my training program at the beginning of the year, start on something new. If something's working, keep it going, keep tracking. Doesn't matter, but just keep going and improving and, and tracking and going from there. So, that's your first step. Is your diet right? Are you trying to lose weight? If you're trying to lose weight, then you need to have your diet on point, hire a coach, set goals, learn about flexible dieting, learn about paleo, learn about intermittent fasting. Whatever it is you decide to do, the point is just do something and start setting a plan, putting those goals in motion. So if you're trying to build muscle, you need to have a good solid workout program. You need to have a, your diet, once again, in check. Learn about IFIM, learn about macronutrients. Study, learn, read, become smarter, learn how to do it, or hire a coach. Those are the only ways you can get better at something. You can either learn and study it yourself over time, or pay somebody to do it uh, for you and tell you exactly what to do. I have done both, and I can tell you by paying for a coach, the results happen much faster. Um, something about the accountability factor of having money on the line, whatever it is, it just fucking works. So, those are for your health. So with it, Determine your goals. Are you trying to lose weight? Sort of like a dog crying. Are you trying to gain or build muscle? Those are the ends of the spectrum. So losing weight, get your diet, get your cardio, get your workout program. Boom, three things. Daily progress, track, workout, diet, um, prepare your food in advance. Whatever it is, just fucking do it. Take action and start on that goal, whichever one it is. Now, um, finances. Okay, nobody likes being broke. Being broke fucking sucks, okay? I've been broke, it sucks. I'm much happier when I have money in my pocket. So, with that said, when it comes to um, your, your finances, either you only have any, a couple options, either you save money or you make more, okay? So, I'm not big on like vision boards and things. I tried that for a little bit. Um, I'm not really motivated by materialistic things. I like buying nice things here and there when I see something. But I like having enough money around to do things I want to do. So for me, savings was a huge goal in 2014. And I did hit a huge milestone in my savings. I'm not going to say what that is on YouTube for thousands and millions of people to see. Because who cares? Whatever I do is for me. Whatever you do is for you. But set goals and track your finances. See where you're spending your money. See where you're not spending your money. There's an amazing book um, by a gentleman named Ramit Sethi. It's called I Will Teach You To Be Rich. That book single-handedly changed my financial life. Uh, if I ever meet that guy, which I'm sure I will, we go to a lot of the similar seminars, we have the same concepts. Um, that guy's awesome, his book is amazing. Um, I only read halfway through it, only because that was where I knew I needed to be and I needed to cut myself off because I'm not to the point where I'm investing in, in a lot of the stuff he's saying to do after you hit, until you hit a certain point. So that was able to automate my finances and automate my savings, which is something I had never done before. And savings for me at first when I started was super, super hard. Um, but once I got in the habit of it, like anything, like working out, like getting to the gym, um, walking in the morning, uh, eating properly, all these things, they're, they're habits. You have to start each day. And you have to start, you know, little things. They call it, I talk about it all the time, called the compound effect. Little small daily actions add up to large, giant things over time. That's why, you know, you hear about millionaires becoming successful overnight. Well, no, it's not overnight. It's because they did things for a long period of time that when you just look like, oh, that dude, he just got rich like yesterday. No, it's not the fucking case. That's not what happens, okay? So, keep that in mind. Use the theory. Buy the book, The Compound Effect. Um, if you haven't uh, noticed, I'm recommending a lot of books and things to you. I think reading is a huge part. Investing in yourself. That is your financial and your, and your wealth. That's your brain. Um, my good friend Jason Capital talks about this all the time. He invests up to 40% of his monthly income into his into his self, which is knowledge, books, training courses, products, um, all kinds of things. Um, these are these are ways that he advances his. And, I, and I'm not to the level where I can spend 40% of my income yet, but I'm getting there. So always reinvest back in yourself because you are your number one asset. You, your brain, your smart, your the way of dress. Um, obviously, you know I was gonna throw that in there. But, okay, so then there's you know, your, your finances, savings, or goes into wealth, creating more money, okay? Now, 
Maybe you're not happy in your job right now. If you're not happy in your job, you need to fucking do something about it. Don't be one of those people that bitches day in, day out that goes, oh, I hate my job, but benefits and oh, I can't leave. That's bullshit. That's a lie you're telling yourself and you need to wake the fuck up. Okay, so like I said, combine effect. What do you want to do? What, do you, what would you like to do? Don't know? Well, start learning. Start reading. Start exploring other options of ways that you could possibly make money with knowledge and things of that nature. That is going to set the compound effect in motion. You want to get the ball rolling. Now, I'm not saying go out and quit your job tomorrow and have no money coming in. That's stupid. You don't want to do that. Especially if you have a family, kids, wife, mortgage, rent, car payment, insurance, all that shit. But really, study what's going on. Okay, how much debt do you have? How much money do you have saved? How much money do you need to have saved so you can quit for six months to try to get something rolling? Okay, maybe you want to start an internet business. What are topics you'd like to talk about? I have quite a few internet businesses and I love them. Okay, but it was a long struggle to get to the point where I didn't have to have another job. You know, and I quit my old job way too prematurely and I regret that now, but hey, it may be the person I am today. So, um, those are what I, what I do, what I set out. It's, it's, for me, it's all about just making a plan, but not big plans that get super complicated, but you have your goal, you know, take your goal of, I want to lose 20 pounds, okay? Then you're going to have to start out today because you want to start as soon as possible. Don't wait. Don't wait till Monday. Start now. Nothing says that you can't change who you are in the next 10 minutes, okay? Say, okay, well, what am I going to do today to make, to be somebody who has lost 20 pounds? Well, maybe I'm make a better choice for dinner. Maybe I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to get some protein powder so when I wake up tomorrow morning, I can drink a protein shake for breakfast instead of having my usual egg McMuffin with cheese and McDonald's. Okay, then it's okay, well I need to stop by the gym, buy, you know, buy a gym membership. Okay, then it's I need to schedule on my lunch break to go to the gym. See these things, these are all little things that just start adding up. Do that for six months and I promise you'll probably have lost 20 pounds. Okay, so, but that's what I'm saying. Same thing with your financial goals. Say, okay, I can only save $25 out of this paycheck. Next week, I'm going to try to save $40. Next week, I'm going to try to save $60. As you see, each time, and if you have a little extra money come in, put a little bit of it in the savings. Next thing you know, it starts building upon building, and you're going to have your first $1,000 in a savings account. That may be, uh, you know, a lot of people can shit on $1,000 in savings accounts, but that's not the point. The point is just to get the ball rolling. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I want 2015 to be your best year possible, and there's no reason that it can't. So, um, if you haven't yet, grab your report because I honestly believe dressing well is the number one way to success. It's gonna set you up for success in anything you try to do, other than go to the gym. You don't really have to dress well to go to the gym. But, with that said, start dressing better. I have, had, I have over you know, 100 style videos on my channel, plus lots of fitness videos, lots of blog posts, Three year products, Kindle books, all telling you the benefits of dressing well. Take a chance, grab one of my things. I don't care which one you buy. Just grab one, start learning about dressing well and what it can do for you. And I promise you'll be happy with that. Other than that, take some action. Do some shit. Live an awesome life. I'm out. Peace.